руки горе Our Lord and Master Jesus, we thank you once again for this week. Indeed, you have proven yourself that you love us. We started the week with some people, but they are not here today. They are not even on earth. But Father, if we exist, we are not here of our own. We are not here for our own good. We are here to praise and to worship you. Lord, I pray that you will come and give us your word, that we change the soul and the inner being of our spirit and that affect our flesh to live right. Come and speak to us. Let your word be simplified, not even modified. Come as this and let our spirit be understood. I pray also against any spirit that will misinterpret the word in the hearts of your people. Bind every spirit of that. Let your word come with clarity and understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Let it is. Amen. Amen. Come on, we can do better. We are once again here to worship our God. And this month is another topical study we are going to go through. Two things we will go through. Love and hatred. Last week I talked about love. I stressed on, the first week I stressed on Lazarus. And the rich man. The importance of building relationship. Because you never know what will happen tomorrow. If Lazarus has been well loved, that alone would have made a way for the rich man. At least for him to get some water, to drink, something to quench his thirst. But that wasn't there. Lazarus have to wait, wait until something fall on the ground. And falling on the ground, there, there were two components. The dogs were also looking for that. And Lazarus was looking for that. So they were fight. So if Lazarus get the first, his soul and his wounds will be laid by the dogs. This is a serious picture. And under your table, such is going on, and you can have Today, 
I want to stress on the concept of hatred. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 to 21. Let's read that. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 to 21. And I want to share with you quickly. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. That's right. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. If the Bible is yours, like I'm doing right now, I want to bold my path so that you will not do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. So it means no law on earth can oversee you, overtake you. On our ways, when you are living by the Spirit, get that to the back of your mind. No power on earth will be able to overcome you when you are being led by the Spirit. Take it. The acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, <laughs> witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, and factions. Factions in the form of divisions. In the, in the church, if pastor is preaching today, I am welcome. <laughs> if Minister James is preaching today, he's leaving the Bible saying, I'm not coming today. <laughs> if Minister Seven is here, oh, I am coming. I love Minister Seven. The way he does it. If Reverend Dr. Atipo and the wife is coming to come, I'm not. I am not coming. Yes. Hey! That's factions. That's right. Factions. Let me keep reading. So I have a lot to share with you. And envy, drunkenness. It, he has mentioned drunkenness right here. So you tell me drinking is not a sin. It's not in the Bible. It's right here. Drunkenness. Though it's different from drinking, two letter words. Drunkenness is different from drinking. Does that make sense? You get drunk by drinking. Uh, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's why you're not right. That's why you're not right. That's why you're, you're, you're not teaching me. You're not teaching me. But you understand. You drinking is different from drunkenness. And you never get drunk unless you start drinking. That's right. So folks, be careful. And some of us think we are so smart, we keep drinking. Uh, 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 pasta is not. When, I remember one time I visited somebody's house. They were drinking. 
Now I'm not to arrest me. Do you not cheat? You go out there and you buy all kinds of drinks in your, in your closet, in your disposable display, all kinds. It becomes like a, a challenge. Like you came to my house, you see the brand I have, the kind of brand. I drink the kind of brand that's coming from Britain. Really? Champagne and the color they have all different kinds of things. I don't know because it doesn't interest me. Why should I bother? I will have to find out the name names, but I will help you to know which one you are drinking and which one you have. <laughs> Folks, let's be very careful. And and the like, he says, and envy, drunkenness, or just and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not. Complete it. Will not. Complete it from your scripture. Will not. Oh, you don't have a man. Will not. Oh, somebody said it in the head. Will not inherit. Then what does that mean? What we have just read. Love is positive feeling. To have love, have positive feeling. But with hatred, it is negative feeling. So the moment you are born, these two things are hidden in your life. Love and hatred, they are hidden. It is left to you to develop, develop which one? To walk with. Either you develop hatred and walk with it, or you develop love and stay with it. So, which one has to sit? As I'm preaching, which one do you want to develop? Maybe you have developed hatred. Maybe you have developed love. Which one do you want to maintain as you hear the word of God? Folks, let's be very mindful. Hatred is always negativity. Anything about hatred is about negative. First thing, how, how does hatred develop? It develops out of curiosity. Anxiety. You are anxious to have something. And the moment you develop that anxiety, Bible says, don't be anxious about anything. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Never be anxious about anything. Exceedingly. Anxiety is not the same. Don't get me wrong. Well, you have to have the desire to have develop a concept. To be anxious to, to get rich. Right. Is it sin to be rich? No. Who said it? That because the rich man went to hell, hell that's all the rich people would go. No! That's right. Because you met somebody called Kofi, he, he beat you up. He messed you up. So all Kofi's are bad. <laughs> Kofi gas, all the Kofi gas are bad. That's a wrong concept. You met Kofi, he beat you up. You meet another so let me be very careful how we develop concepts. Anxiety is not a sin, it's a good thing. Be anxious, but do not let it exceed. Exceed the limit to the extent that if I don't get this home by tomorrow, I will have to steal it or kill somebody to get it. And so as we walk at the at the as we walk at the, 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 the community center. Shopping center, you are looking at them or you are looking for somebody that has mistakenly placed his phone. The person has, he's not even missing, he's eating and the phone is just a little, a little far away. And then you went as if you are looking for something. You will go and stand there, you will keep watching the guy and he's not watching you, so you keep it slowly. The moment you pick it, they said there's a technology. Once you put the phone, you take the chip out. Or you turn it off, when you turn it off, you will stop track. But when you turn the chip, you quickly went to the next room. You took the chip, bam. Now the phone is yours. You are so anxious to get it. And your anxiety has led you to hatred of taking somebody's phone. 
That is the concept of hatred. That is when you develop hatred. When you have developed the desire over the limit, it ends to be hatred. So, 
Every attire I wear have to match. Right. It's matching with it's matching the beard. Is it matching? No. Is it matching my no. Is it matching the eyebrows? It's matching firstly. It should have been black and white. No. Is it matching the form? It should have been brown? No. And black? No. It should match the first thing. That's right. A concept developed. Why? It is creating, it is creating something. Love. Not hatred. If it is about hatred, wear brown, I will make sure I wear black. Like, the bishop is a very typical example. When we, when, when we go married, wrapped up to today, over 31, 31 years is a July. Yeah, in July, 31 years. Right from the moment when you got married, in our church based Baptist, I am testifying up to today. We have dressed almost the same. During our time when we got married, if it is tired, I get yellow, 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 yellow. If it is blue, 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 blue. So people started talking. Seriously, it's not a joke. And draw conclusions in our life. 